Bye bye, goodbye, see you later, 29. Bye bye, goodbye, see you later, little baby. Her baby's crying kept her up all night, but she woke up refreshed. Maddie shot out of bed and made a beeline to the shower before her one year old woke. Today was a special day, her 30th birthday. She just had to make a drop off with her ex and then hit the road to Vegas. She got changed quickly. She took a bottle of milk with her and carried the sleeping baby down the stairs. In the car, she hit the gas. Ahead was a glorious day. Ten minutes later, she was outside her ex's house. She honked, but he didn't come out. She hated so much and usually resented bringing the baby here. But as she rung the doorbell, today was different. She couldn't wait to be on her own. She waited at the door with the car seat and the sleeping baby. Frustrated he was taking so long, she hit the bell again and waited some more. Cursing him out under her breath, she scooped up the car seat, placing the baby seat on the car's roof to safely keep it off the road while she dialed his number. Hey, where the hell are you? Just then, his car rounded the corner. Next to him was a hot woman she'd never seen before. (laughs) Girlfriend of the week. The car pulled up and his window wound down. Sorry I'm late. Irritated, she barely looked at him and got in her car. Just grab it, your daughter, she yelled out. He hurried over and started explaining. But she heard it all before. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. She blasted music from the radio and wound her window up. She closed her eyes, waiting for him to get out of there. After a minute, she glanced to the window. He was still there yelling through. She held up her finger and closed her eyes. Get the hell out of here. She hated him so much, she hated everything he stood for. Hated how irresponsible he was. Her mind focused on her trip. She visualized dancing the night away in Vegas, having the best time. She couldn't wait to say farewell to this loser she once loved. Her eyes opened to catch him entering his house, giving her the bird. Whatever hit the accelerator and rounded the corner. Goodbye, loser. Bye-bye. Her mind switched back to Vegas. Just then, her phone rang. She looked over. Him. Ugh. She threw the phone behind her. The back was where the car seat usually lived. For a brief moment, she paused. Sighed. She certainly was going to miss her baby, and she wished he'd kissed her goodbye. He made her forget, and she hated him for that. She pulled up to an intersection and saw people looking at her. Some were waving angrily. She opened a window, turned up the radio louder. No one was going to tell her what to do anymore. No one. She gave them the bird, then pulled away. Bye bye, idiots. Away from them, she calmed down. But as she approached another light, a driver haphazardly pulled up behind her, honking menacingly. Pull over! She slowed over. For the, light. the driver behind her shot out of his car, shouting car towards seat. her. Bye bye, moron. As the light turned, she pulled away. She glanced in the mirror. He was following, driving erratically. He barreled alongside her, yelling angrily. She gave him the finger. Today must be finger day. She veered around the curve, and he followed, trailing her, relentlessly honking. She accelerated. She had to lose it. Last night, Baby was teething. Baby kept her mom up all night. Baby heard mom talk to her friends about going to Vegas and also heard that she was going to see her no good, rotten, good-for-nothing father. That morning, Baby was tired and slept in. When Baby woke, she saw her dad walking away from her car and going into the house. She was alone. Where was her mom? Suddenly, Baby's seat shook. She was on top of Mommy's car. As the car rounded the corner, Baby's car seat rocked. Baby liked it. But she was hungry and wanted milk. She screamed, but the music within the car below drowned her out. Where's my feeder? Baby asked herself. Feeder was in the car underneath, unaware that Baby was above. The man following the baby on top of the car honked Pull again. Over. Pull over! Pull over! But the moron in the car was accelerating 
way too fast. Who could possibly leave a car seat on top of a car? He thought as he slowed down. Idiot! He felt horrible knowing the baby had little chance. Road rage loser! She crossed another intersection, finally escaping the honking man. Her heart pounded. The phone rang and rang, irritating her further. She knew it was her ex. She glanced at the car beside her. Within, a little boy waved at her. She waved back. He pointed above her, but she didn't get it. More honking from the other side. Was it the scary driver again? Her eyes rapidly scanned to a white van beside her. Why are you idiots pointing to my roof? The driver mouthed something. It seemed like, baby. Baby? (gasps) Realization and disbelief suddenly hit her. Her eyes widened in horror as inside she screamed, No! She hit the brake. Wait, she hit the brake? That was a mistake. No! It all took place in a split second, but she couldn't take it back. The car seat flew off the roof of the car. Bye-bye.